Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, This morning, coming to you from the MDF again. Um, We're doing some power testing this morning. We do it the last Tuesday of every month. Well, we, our engineering department, I don't do it. Um, But I monitor things. Um, The last few tests, what I've noticed is this equipment right here, this one, this one, this one, and this one those four have been going down and uh, every time they they transfer power from um, utility power to emergency power uh, those those four devices were going down now this is a Cerner's what is this that's their router this one here is their router this is their firewall that's their layer 2 switch and then this is like a, uh, a switch that allows them to uh, telnet, you know, console into either one of those, those three devices down there. It's also got uh, power plugs on the back that these things are plugged into, so they can remotely power down and power up the, the, uh, the, the devices. It's got two power inputs, this guy. We've got one going to our UPS and one going to just regular facility power, e-power and it's been going down. So I thought, well, maybe the, the port that it's plugged into on the UPS down there, it's plugged into the middle UPS, uh, that one. Um, maybe it's a bad socket or whatever, so I moved it to a different port prior to the power test this morning. And uh, didn't matter, they all went down. So now I'm beginning to wonder if this guy has a bad uh, power supply. I'll show you back here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's pretty dark in there. Oh, maybe you will. So it's going to be this device right here. And there are two cables over here. There's a black one and a blue one. And um, the blue one comes over here. And the black one goes down to the UPS mess down there. So when they did the power test this morning, it still went off. So what I just did, while it was still powered off, I I swapped those two power plugs to see if maybe they have a bad power supply. So maybe it's only one of those power supplies is good. So I'll find out here in about 20 minutes or so when they switch the power back. Um, I'll watch and make sure those those stay up this time. Um, And hopefully that'll, that'll keep this up until they can send us out a replacement for this thing. So, if, if my theory is right, and it might not be. So, because I'm not as smart as you guys think I am. Um, so, that's that's what we're doing this morning. And I thought I'd also kind of give you a little bonus rundown of uh, what happened this weekend. So, we have these these firewalls up here. They're, they're Palo Alto. There's, a, there's one up there, one down there. Right now, they're managed separately. There's you know, two separate firewalls. Um, and we, we bought a product called Panorama. And what Panorama allows you to do is manage all your firewalls from one console. It, it uh, gets all your, your logging in one place. So um, simplifies management and it also gives us a lot more room to store logs. <clears throat> so this weekend, <laughs> he said as he cleared his throat, <clears> this <throat> weekend, um, our contractor, Burwood, was hired to, um, to do that for us, to get this into the panorama, show us how it's all set up, train us, and all that good stuff. Burwood is excellent. Let me say that first of all. Burwood provides excellent, excellent service. So, Burwood, don't get mad at me when I say this. Um, so, this weekend, he, he was setting everything up to get it pulled, in, pulled into panorama. The, the, uh, that's our... When I say it, I'm talking about our edge firewall, our internet firewall. And I asked him, so is there going to be any downtime for the users? He's like, no, it shouldn't be. All we're doing is just telling it to be managed by Panorama. Okay. So, and we're, I'm doing this from home. I'm, I'm, I'm VPN'd in remotely because, you know, it's supposed to be just quick and easy. You were just moving management to, from one device to another. Um, Shouldn't, shouldn't affect anything. Well, he, he says, okay, well, here we go. So this one is actually our, our secondary. So these, we have these in, in an availability peer arrangement. 
So this is the secondary here. Our primary is up in the data center. So he pulled this one into Panorama first. He said, okay, there we go. Looked at it, everything looked good. He said, now let's go back and look at the primary, make sure everything looks good over there before we proceed. And when he pulled open the primary, he said, huh, all the, uh, all the security profiles are missing. Let me check something here. It looks like, click, and it went dead. Hello, are you there? Are you there? So I called him on the cell phone, and he goes, hey, I, uh, I got disconnected. Are, are you still connected? No. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I jumped in the car as quick as I could with, with my laptop and everything, and I'm racing down here. At, uh, I might have been exceeding uh, California speed limit. Can neither confirm nor deny. Um, and about, I'm about halfway here, and my phone starts ringing. And I'm, talk, I'm still talking to the guy on my phone, trying to figure out what I need to do when I get here. And uh, I'm, I'm under the impression that all routing is down internally, because it, that does handle some of our routing, especially for our management network for our switches. And uh, then I get a call from the help desk saying, everything's down. Everything is down. Like, oh, great. The hospital's going to... Uh, declare a code trauma, which means they can't accept new patients, and that's bad. Uh, so my heart's just thumping, and I'm racing down here, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm not being very gracious to the guy. I'm going, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Goodbye. I, so I get down here, and I go burst into my office up there, my office, my cubicle. I go bursting into my cubicle, jump on my machine, and just try to take a look and see what all's what all's down? First thing I do is look at my phone, my desk phone, VoIP, VoIP phone. It's working. Hmm. So I jump on my computer and look at it. It's working. Hmm. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. So I get into the firewall and uh, I take a look at all the rules. Yeah, all the rules are gone. Firewall is still acting as the primary. It didn't. If it had failed over to this one as a secondary, it would have stayed up, but it didn't because. It wasn't down. It just didn't have any rules. Uh, so I checked, I went over to the help desk, I said, so what all's down? He goes, oh, uh, everything. I said, well, is your phone working? Yeah. Oh, I guess that's not everything. Yeah, that's kind of important. What is down? Okay, well, the only thing they've called about is the internet and uh, Cerner. Cerner's our electronic medical records provider. This is Cerner equipment right here that I'm talking about this morning. So we have a dedicated circuit that goes from us through our firewall, through their firewall, and then back to them in Kansas City. Um, so, so Cerner and, and the Internet's the only thing that's down, I guess. That's the only thing people have complained about. I said, okay, then that's all that's down. So I ran, run back to, the, to my uh, firewall session in my web browser and uh, basically grabbed the backup that he made before we did any of this work. I grabbed that restored it back into the firewall. As you can see, you save it right there on the firewall. You just save different candidate configurations, they call it. And we always save them before. So we've got like 20 different configs that are saved there. So I grabbed the one that was saved just this morning. That morning, not this morning, that morning. I grabbed that, restored it, commit, and boom, internet's fixed, Cerner's fixed. Scott's heart rate returns to normal. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it was a fun, fun Saturday. So, all that, that long, sad story to say is make sure you got good backups, because even on mornings like this when we're doing power testing, things can go wrong. And, uh, you know, you do UPS the best you can. Hey, morning, Jose. And here's my buddy, Jose. I'm saying, say hello to everybody in YouTube land, man. I'm, I'm making a YouTube video. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh. Anyway, that's, that's the long, sad tale. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and uh, we'll catch you all next time. God bless.